Welcome to Fidget Spinners and Useless But Fun Junk. How may I help you? Do you have any Captain Jack Fair Fidget Spinners? No, not yet, but we'll have them sooner. Well then, your money or your life. What are you, a pirate? I may have watched a couple of pirate movies here lately, but that's not the point here. What is the point? <laughs> well, it's this shiny gun here. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Hey, that's my line, Johnny. You see, I have this thing called a ferret. A cat snake, if you will. And they are master of escaping and also stealing things. It would seem I have all your bullets. Impossible. Very possible with the power of ferrets. By the way, just a quick uh, PSA, I guess. This is not actually a real gun. Bonding with your fear doesn't have to be as dramatic or as uh, dangerous as that scene you just saw there. But in this video, I'm going to show you and tell you a couple of things that you can do to bond with your fear. So stay tuned. So there's a couple of things you need to be careful about. The first is squeaky toys, and this is a bit of a controversial point in the ferret community because squeaky toys are either fine or they're rather dreadful for certain ferrets. So just be careful of that. Now you need to be careful about rubbing their whiskers. Now someone on a line suggested rubbing their face to, get, to help bond with them. But the thing is, ferrets have very, very stiff whiskers. If I could get it to focus that close, you could see. There we are. You see these? These are very, very stiff, very, very thick. And if you, and they irritate. And if you touch them too much, it'll irritate them because it goes all the way down into their skin. So if you're gonna do it, I would advise doing it like this so you don't irritate them too much. And you probably just rub them on the head like this. You see, he, he's rather content with it. Just be careful about their whiskers. One thing you want to watch for is their body language. If a ferret's backing into a corner and their tail is puffed out, that means they're afraid and that you probably need to back off or maybe entice them with a treat. One thing you need to be careful about is that ferrets are very small creatures and so they can be hurt very easily. They're itty bitty creatures and some things that you can say do with a dog or a cat, you need to be careful about with a ferret because a ferret's a much smaller creature and you can hurt them a lot easier. Patting a dog or patting a cat won't hurt them too bad, but it's not necessarily good for them. But patting a ferret? Uh, well, that's something you probably shouldn't do. And don't flick their nose. Licking their nose is probably going to hurt them quite a bit. That's not something you should do. Instead, put them in a timeout cage or something but don't hurt them. That's, that won't make them trust you or bond with you any better. Now, one thing you need to do is play with them a lot. Ferrets in their waking moments want to explore. They want to feel excitement. They want to play. They want to drag your socks away. And so indulge them, play with them a lot. One thing ferrets aren't normally keen on is you holding them, but that's something that they have to get used to. So just struggle with it for a little bit. You know, try and just hold them for maybe five or 10 minutes. Treats you need to be careful about because some treats for ferrets are, are very sugary. So just keep in mind that some are very bad for ferrets. Things like fruits and such, they're not good for ferrets. And that's about it. You know, just love them, pet them, give them lots of love, kiss them, you know, snuggle them, play with them. And eventually, hopefully, they'll bond with you a lot more. Anyways, I'm Captain Jack Ferret, or Jacob. And if you like this, you know what to do. But if you want more content on a weekly basis to see these cute things, my radio voice, and all that delivered to your inbox, subscribe and click that little bell notification. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.